this is the CNC controller finally up and running. Uh, same you can hear, that's the actually Stego fan there on the bottom making that noise. Uh, there's the VFD and the power light. Uh, so I've been working on uh, getting the wires into the uh, enclosure and going through that Roxtech gland. So it's it's been a little arduous with the wiring, uh, but so far so good. Uh, I now uh, have proof of life, so I was moving the X and the Y axis, and everything looks good. I have these uh, Deutsch connectors uh, connecting the two, um, but I did run into a little problem here with the Z axis, and the Z axis, no bueno. So it runs, but when it stops, ah, crunch. It's no good. So none of the other axes sound like that. Here's the x-axis coming to a stop. So in order to troubleshoot this, I took the stepper motor off the z-axis, disconnected it, and then moved it down here. And now I've plugged it into essentially where the x-axis goes. So I'm going to drive this motor using the x-axis as driver and circuit and see if it's any different. Wow, so quite a lot different. So I think that validates that the motor is good. The, the pigtail here that I've created just going from the motor to this connector is good. And so the suspects then become maybe this connection, uh, this cable, or this driver. So yeah, just a safety reminder if you're working in a panel, uh, even if you disconnect the power, turn it off, just remember there's big capacitors in the VFD and then on your power supply. This linear power supply has these two big capacitors and there's a resistor that bleeds off the charge but it can take some time. It probably takes about 10 minutes and so just know that the power that comes out, the DC power, if you put a voltmeter on it and turn off the power you'll see it just slowly goes down and so this thing's cranking out uh, 56 volts DC to each one of these drives and so it it'll just slowly dissipate over 10 minutes or so and so you can still get mm, pretty good slap from that so be careful I wanted to see if the problem would persist if I used a different cable so I made a little short lead and connected it directly here So this sounded a lot better to me, so I think it excludes the driver and its configuration from the problem, and I'm going to focus on the cable and that connection. I think my next step is going to be to test the conductors to see if they can carry current. My voltmeter says there's zero ohms, but it doesn't necessarily mean the wire is capable of carrying four amps, so I'm going to test that out. Here's my little rig here. I just have a, a automotive light bulb. Uh, and I'm running it, I'm attaching it here and applying the power to the to the connector here. So yeah, basically all four conductors are able to light this light bulb. So this light bulb pull, should pull about 4 amps DC, 12 volts. So that's good. So I found the smoking gun. I hope you can see that. Actually one of the terminals there is pushed back. And this is actually in the pigtail end. And uh, I, uh, when I plugged this into the x-axis cable, it actually worked relatively well. I'm not sure why. Uh, maybe the x-axis plug has a slightly longer terminal. I mean, that's the whole point of the Deutsch connectors, is that they uh, should be pretty consistent. But anyway, I think when I pushed this wedge in, that terminal got pushed back. So I'm going to correct that. So I've 
fix the connection, and here it is. <laughs> it's just one of those things, man. I don't know. Wastes like a half a day. There's one, one, one of the connections in there. <sighs> oh well. Thanks for watching.